Hello everybody, Frankie Day here. Okay guys, uh, this evening is video 6 for my summer build of my Billings Danish training ship Denmark. Okay guys, uh, she's progressing quite uh, quite swiftly. And uh, I put a lot of time on this thing. I should be putting some time on my Focal 190, but I'm, I'm getting carried away with this build, so eventually I'll tire of it soon, but uh, I want to get and I, I want to get it uh, at the point where I can um, go back and uh, put the mast on and rig it up and finish up from there. But uh, my, 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 my initiative goal for this build, for the summer build, and uh, is to get this whole hull with all the deck furniture on, all the fittings on, 100%. And I want to get, I want to make my mast too, get them all stepped up and prepared. And uh, I shut down the build for a while, and go on to something else, uh, like, like my FW190. I'll probably get that shaken up real quick. Uh, I'm very deeply sorry, folks. I haven't posted any videos on that. I've been quite busy with, with uh, yours truly over here. So, therefore, uh, Denmark's keep me busy, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy I'm, I'm on this thing. And it's going on quite well, and we'll review it very shortly. Okay, guys, uh, so far, and uh, before I uh, pull the camera over to you, let's take a look at it for the for the view, viewing of it. Uh, I've got all the stanchions on the forecastle, and the, the whole forecastle is pretty uh, finished. Uh, I got, I've got the mats uh, in position, running lights are on, i got the belaying benches on there, which is pipe rails. I got the night heads on there. I got all the stanchions on there, and after the forecastle, I've got the ladderways going up to the top of the uh, the forecastle deck, and the uh, I got an auxiliary stir, uh, emergency anchor, which is stowed in position, and I got the forward uh, five rail for the mast. Uh, I got the mast stepped in right now, and the, the hulls have been pre-drilled already, and I'm just kind of toying around with the mast, folks. I see how it goes, and see how see what needs to be done and so far it fits like a glove with no fuss and uh, as far as I ended the construction tonight and I will continue on the same step tomorrow uh, I work on the forward house which is the galley or the galleyest deck for house and uh, we'll see the cam over it and we'll review what was been done on it so far folks uh, so I got lots of work to do on there so I got the uh, I got the whole deck house with it primed and painted and installed. And last night I stained the uh, the top of the roof, of the, of the deck house roof. It's been stained. And uh, the tick, I made some tick marks for the fittings on there, so I'm actually fitting it out. So the initiative goal now on this kit, on this model right now, on the build itself, folks, is just get it all fitted out. Then I go ahead and start building the mask, get that all done, and just put it away for a while. and. Uh, Go to something else I can catch up on. So I'll be busy. I'll be a busy beaver this summertime. So I got some projects at hand I got to get going on. And uh, believe you me, it's not doing my FW 190 any just sitting in a box over here. And, and I'll promise probably sometime one day this week, sometime I'll, I'll hop on and make a, post a video on that. And uh, so I'm getting pretty well involved in this Denmark, folks. So I want to get her done, you know. and like I say, I don't want to go. I want to get her all finished with all the fittings on there, so it's all ready for it to be stepped up with the mast and standing rigging and running rigging. So the old man he died, Marcus, uh, looking real good. So I'm pretty happy with it. And without further ado, and less chatter, and we'll go over and take a look at the uh, Denmark. There she is right there, fellas. I got as close as I can with her right here. And uh, you can see the details I've done to her. I got the forecastle deck completely uh, finished. Stanchions in position, the railings are in position. And incidentally, folks, this is all wire right here. So I had to weave that wire all the way through my stanchions on here. And I've got my five rails back over here where you take in for your jib sails and trim jib sails 
They go in there. I got the night heads on there. I got my me my bits on there. I've got the bits installed. Get the bosun locker installed. I got the the bower anchor uh, crane installed. And I got the windless cover deck uh, installed. And I got all the matting here installed. And uh, instantly, folks, it's tedious work with that uh, doing all these little details on this thing. And um, right here, this is the uh, the galley or the galleys four deck house. I've got all the stanchions on here. Instantly, folks, it's a pity to paint these brass parts with white, but. Um, it's uh, it's it's optional for the builder if he desires to paint the fittings, the brass fittings white, or just leave them brass like on here on top of the guy's four deck top. And uh, so the air mark showed no shining brass other than that in their portholes. And um, these portholes got to be touched up with some gold paint on here too, folks. I got them all in position here. Got the water cask on there, and I got the vegetable locker cask on there. And it looks like there's a ventilation pipe coming up here for the overhead. That's probably what they are as vents. And um, we'll get a little closer at the thing, and I'll swing around a little bit. And uh, we'll discuss furthermore what I've done. Okay, guys, we'll zoom in a little bit here more. As I carefully uh, move it around, this way you can see the detail done on this thing, folks. It's uh, it's tedious, and I got to add the the handrails too to the ladder ways going up to the forecastle deck. So I got to do that tomorrow. So like I said, I'm trying to concentrate all this area right here, folks. Always work forward and work aft. And uh, the, like I say, these masts are just in position right there. Nothing, uh, no worries on that part of it. Uh, she's come along together quite well, folks. And you can tell this is a wonderful ship. And it's a beautiful ship. She sailed the world. I think they spent uh, about 20 months on this thing, on the training ship. long time folks and uh, you can see aft right here of the four house right here I got it all the mahogany the, the doorways entryways right there I got them all stained and also got them a polyurethane as well and I got to add some more details to the doorways I got some sprue I'll be cutting up acting like hinges and stuff on there I put on there and uh, like I say folks these these here masks right here, they come off. They just on there just to give you a, a visual idea how she's gonna look like. And um, she come on quite nicely, folks. I'm pretty well satisfied with it so far. It's time to put her away with a drive for the night. And um, This is a beautiful ship, guys. I really enjoy this build. This is this is a very ancient kit, guys, compared to the uh, uh, to to the new one they got now. They they're, they're making and um, that they have uh, in production right now. It's all laser cut fittings and state of art fittings and everything. So this here kit, this thing's just a dinosaur, and uh, you know you're building something that's 50 years old, and uh, with I'm still building with 50 years old technology too, uh, constructing it. And I got some details on there, a lot of detail work to do on it. So my uh, initiative goal is just get this whole hull completely finished up. I can add some more ladders up through there, which is no sweat. I'll make those, just like I made these right here. And uh, surely she's looking pretty nice and I'm pretty happy with her. And uh, this is Mighty Denmark. This is one of Billings, uh, Elliot Billings' uh, first offering kits that he did. The first one was the Marianne, it was a fishing boat or a crabbing cutter. And uh, he just, he went ahead and uh, designed that kit. 
and they publicize it through the modeling world and it's like what the heck you know these guys are going nuts over these this little this little fishing boat I got here so I'll go ahead and make a production of them uh, Mr. Billings his wife ran a hobby shop at the time so he merged in with his wife and they decided to produce kits and they've been in production since 1956 and uh, they entered the uh, United States by no no late no uh, later than 1963, and uh, that's when I I first seen these, these these kits before, and they're relatively they're very cheap. You know, back in the 1970s, uh, you can get this kit probably for about 20 bucks, and uh, So building kits is pretty cheap because they didn't. The reason why they're so cheap, like I said before previously in my previously on on my past videos, folks, is that they just uh, they control the the cost of the kit by keeping the price of the kit. They give you the wooden set, put the kit together by itself. It's cheaper that way than having the fittings. So if you decided to make fittings, you can go ahead and make your own. If you're not skilled enough to make your own, that's when you have to go. We got no alternative than look. And not notify the company and tell them you want a, a fitting set for this kit, and they'll send it to you. And uh, so that's old school stuff, guys. Nowadays they send all kits. Nowadays every every uh, wooden kit manufacturer there's out there, even plastic kits, is starting that out too. They're starting to incorporate by putting all the fittings inside the kits, keep you from going through buying fittings. So anyway, guys, uh, like I said before, this kit here is a dinosaur. It's, it's pretty ancient compared to, to the new one that they uh, redesigned. And I haven't seen that kit, though, but I've seen a new boxing of it. And it seems like it's a very nice kit. And, it, and the bill's not different than this one here. Everything right here, you got cut out with a with a scroll saw or cut out with a number 11 blade. And and their wood is very, very, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty hard to work with, especially when... when you're cutting out uh, fine parts because see this is kind of plywood they incorporate in this kit here it's it'll splinter on you and so uh, I think a fellow right there he got the Lila Dan which is the uh, the distant cousin of the uh, Danmark and uh, all the, the wood all the veneer printing wood in there is uh, in the same nature as this one here you got to cut it out with a scroll saw or a number 11 blade but the key of keeping that wooden splattering is you got to use ACC glue, yeah, cryolite glue. Saturate the around the parts areas that you're going to be cutting out, and it'll harden that uh, wood and keep it from um, splintering and coming apart on you. And um, so you got to really just got to kind of take your time and cut those parts out. They're very, very, uh, they're very fragile and will crack on you. But like I say, the only way to prevent it from cracking is to go ahead and saturate the the printed wood with uh, a quite like glue. And uh, put a mask on your face and put some glasses on because you don't want none of those fumes. Because the only way they go is up. And they get in your eyes or get in your lungs, you're, you're a cooked goose. And um, so you got to be very careful working with those things. It's not very healthy for you. So use plenty of ventilation and, and eye protection. Okay, guys, uh, right here so far on the Danmark, as we looked at a while ago, I, I got about as far as the uh, the galley, the Gallius uh, four house deck, and I still got some tinting up to do on it here and there, and uh, I got the Gallius frames that will be done to, to it tomorrow, and I had the boat davits on there, and I got to make some ladder weights going up there to the uh, up to the top of the. Uh, the, the uh, Ford Duck House top, and um, I got to add handrails to those railings right there, and there's a few little parts here and there that's got to be done on it. So it's I keep looking at it and I can find parts that need to be done on it. So anyway, guys, uh, right here this concludes the uh, video number six of my summer build of the Billings Danmark, and I'll swing the camera right back to yours truly here. Okay, guys, that's that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get all that FW 190, guys. I know it's, it's starting to call on me, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and complete the the forward deck house here. 
get it all done, get the ladders, uh, the top side ladders, get those installed and a few uh, details got put on it. Get them installed and do some painting on it, some staining and add the handrails and get it, and get the frames all done and, and my boat booms and and out of that she's uh but done that part there, I'm going to go ahead and dry and I go ahead and resume on the FW9 and get a couple of videos of that folks. I only get that thing done. There's no sense of letting that thing sit there like that. I just, like I said, I'm having so much fun with this here build, you know, and and uh, brings back a lot of memories to me compared to the last one I used to have. And uh, it's a treat to the build this again. A, 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 a great delight. Okay, guys, uh, the next video would be um, would be the completion of the four deck house on this. Uh, the boats, will, the uh, boat davits will be installed, and the rigging details will be installed on it. And I got a lot of little fittings and tune-up here I got to do on it, and I got to get those installed. And um, other than that. She's coming quite, quite well. I'm pretty happy. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless and uh, make Mama happy. And happy modeling. Well, please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. So stay tuned for video number seven of the summer build of the Billings, Denmark. See you, fellas. Take care, boys.